Here we have a standard 12 volt dry cell going through a uh, over the counter boost, DC boost, taking the 12 volts, making it 50. And from there, we're piping the 50 directly into this capacitor to build up a bank of electricity at 50 volts DC. And then one wire is lead, leading to this network of uh, connections here in the back of this zero force motor model here. And the other is connected across these two contacts on this little uh, whisker switch. Of course, as you see, I've got a wheel here with a number of uh, tapes stuck to it strategically so that it turns on about the center of the magnet of, it, of the uh, coil over there. It hits the connector down here. Have one generating coil wound with uh, something around the order of 20 gauge wire. And the rest of these coils are wrapped around iron cores and they produce the motor effect. This is around a uh, composite core producing an electric generation effect. And right down here we have a meter showing right now about one volt across this group of capacitors that are wired as a multiplier. So we'll see a significant amount of voltage build up quite quickly when the machine is running but the voltage is only this single pickup generation coil wired directly into these capacitors. We'll give it a whirl and get it going. There she goes. And at this moment, this voltage is building up quite quickly. And that voltage, again, is just being generated in this single generation coil. And these four coils are doing the propulsion in a repulsive mode. So as the uh, coils are energized, the magnet about halfway through, attracted to the iron, is propelled away by the magnetic force when once the coils energize. Running the system at straight 12 volts didn't produce much for RPMs. Putting it through a boost system that is said to be over 95% efficient and a large cap to keep it well supplied. The motor runs quite nicely and over here we're forever generating uh, excess energy. Truth is this coil was only producing about one and a half volts without the multiplier but with the velocity we get a build up and you can see it happening.